What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new add-on for Blender that helps you simulate different kinds of moving water. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a brand new add-on from the guys over at Polygonic. Um, so we've talked about their add-ons before. So for example, we've talked about Botanic, their tree and nature library, as well as their vehicle library in the past. They also have a material library, which I haven't talked about on the channel yet. I probably should, but they've got multiple different add-ons in Blender for different things. Well, they just released their newest add-on. It's called Aquatic. And basically what it is, is it's a water library for different kinds of water objects. And so one thing to note about this is you can use this code to get 33% off. That is limited to a certain number of users. So as of right now, um, that's still active. So if this is something you're interested in, you can use that code. I will link to this in the notes down below. So basically what it's got is it's got a number of different tools for creating different kinds of water conditions, specifically water conditions that you would probably see in like an architectural visualization situation. So this isn't something like flip fluids, it's actually doing fluid simulations. It's something that's more tools for displaying water. So, um, and we'll look at these more in depth in a second, but basically what it has is it has um, an asset library of different fountains that you can download and bring into Blender, as well as some two-dimensional water um, simulation animations that you can play that look really realistic. So those are really cool for doing like waterfalls and other things like that, and they're really lightweight. So the animations just kind of play without any kind of lag or anything like that. Um, you've also got some different things. You've also got some different water materials um, for EV and cycles. So you've got like fountain water, lake water, ocean water, and shoreline. And so that water material originally came with this material, um, which is another um, shader that they sold before. And so if you do have this material, um, basically what you can do, if you go into the frequently asked questions, you can actually upgrade from material for free. Um, so you should see a coupon code for that inside of your inbox. I think they had some issues based on their discord of that working 100% right. I think they've got it all sorted out, um, but you can also reach out to them through Blender Market if it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at this inside of Blender. So the way this works is you're going to enable it inside of Blender and then you can tap the N key and it's going to give you a men menu over to the right hand side where you're going to be able to access these different assets. And so if you click in here, there's three different kinds of assets. There's the individual effects, which you can bring in those effects and um, apply them individually. You can also bring in fountains, which has multiple different kinds of fountains for different things like this. And you've got the modular effects over here. So the modular effects are going to be kind of combined effects, which we can take at, and we'll actually take a look at those in a second because those really show what this is more capable of. Um, but whatever you choose, what it's gonna do is, let's say that we were to bring in like um, one of these sprays, for example. So if I bring in this spray right here, click on okay. What that's gonna do is that's going to bring a spray into Blender just like this. And so basically all of the effects are gonna come in as these two-dimensional animations right here, which is actually great because you don't have to wait for it to simulate what the materials are doing. It's just playing this looping animation like this. Um, I actually find that a lot faster than trying to do any kind of simulations, which we can take a look at in a second. But um, it's gonna give you the collection of different water sprays as well as these circular sprays. And let's actually jump down to one of the modular functions so you can kind of see that combination. So let's say we're to bring in the circular water right here. So let's set this, so it's gonna come in over here, but let's spawn this. And so that one, so it's got a spray that's kind of like upward, right? Like this, like it's coming outward. And then down below, you've got the spray that's basically one of these circular effects right here. So it's basically a combination of um, this spray right here and the circular. And so basically what that allows you to do is that allows you to create things like fountains um, that run really quickly inside of your scene. And so those combinations, in my opinion, are really gonna be where this looks, with where this starts to look really good. So another example is one of these waterfalls, right? So if we were to pick a waterfall in here, so I'm gonna bring this in, and then let's move it over a little bit. I'm gonna rotate it like this, um, just so we can see it. But if you look at this waterfall, basically that's going to be animating both the water falling in here as well as the splash at the bottom of the page. So it's kind of a combination in here. And so one, one thing that's kind of cool about this 
is there's also an option in here if you convert this to editable. Um, there's an option in here to let you paint an alpha mask. Basically what that means is that means instead of this being like super rectangular, right, which is what it is right now, you can come in here and you can paint a mask. And um, usually this is gonna work a little bit better if you subdivide it actually. So if I tab in here and let's say I was to select all of it just by tapping A and clicking on subdivide like this. Let's jump those subdivisions up. Let's go ahead and jump it up to something like 10, just for the sake of what we're doing right here. But once you do that, what you can do is you can use this alpha mask paint function in order to mask out part of this in order to make it look like less rectangular, right? So basically this is just masking out part of the material in here. And that allows you to set this where it like tapers to the inside or something like that. So you can get this much more like a realistic look just by simply converting that to editable, just like this. And I think a lot of these actually, if we were to go to return, and let's go ahead and let's uh, spawn a new material. So I'm gonna stop this animation. I'm gonna do a spawn asset. And so let's say we were to bring in this stream downward like this. So if you were to convert that to editable, I'm gonna scale it down a little bit, make sure it's flowing the right direction. It is not. So I'm gonna rotate this. 180 degrees, but if you were to convert this to editable, what you could do is you could just tab in here and just add some loop cuts like this. And then once you do that, But what you can do, right, is you can come in here and you can actually bend and move this geometry around. Well, notice how this continues to play along this surface. So you can take that flat water material and kind of make it move along a curve just like this. So um, that's gonna give you the ability to do that. There's also several assets in here for different kinds of fountains, right? So if you spawn these fountains, so if you go into your fountain effects right here, and let's just pick, um, let's just pick the big square one and we're gonna bring this in. But basically what that's gonna be, wow, that's bigger than I expected, or maybe I just have the location messed up. There we go. So if you bring this big fountain in, notice how this is gonna be doing a little bit more complex simulation in here. So obviously this isn't running as quickly because the shader is running in the background, but it's also gonna give you a lot more realism. So if you take a look at these fountains, these are gonna be really realistic. Um, they're ready to render, so I don't really have a scene set up, but if I was to jump this over into um, Eevee right now, notice how this is gonna render out really nicely. And so one of the things that's making this run a little bit slower is it's actually got a water shader material applied to this. So in addition to having um, your different fountains and other things like that, there's also multiple different materials that are in here. So for example, let's say I'm gonna bring in this little fountain right here. All right, so if I bring this little fountain in right here and I'm just gonna delete out the extra water, notice how you can actually click in here and you can spawn a different material. So notice how there's multiple different materials that are contained in here, right? So for example, let's say I wanted one of these other materials, maybe the frosted like this. I can just click on that and that's actually going to spawn that material into my scene. So let's say I wanted something else like the ocean material. If I click on this, this is going to spawn that ocean material and apply it to the object I have selected right here. And notice how it's doing some shader work right here, but there's multiple different materials that are contained inside of um, aquatic that you can use in order to simulate different kinds of water. And so again, just notice that if you do um, click the play button and run these, they're going to look really great, but it is going to take longer to simulate them just because it has to simulate everything that's going on with the shader every frame. So that is going to be a little bit slower, but it's also going to be a little bit more realistic or actually a lot more realistic. All right. And then one other thing to note is it also comes with their sample scene um, that contains their water shoreline waves um, node group, as well as their animated water node group. So um, this scene is available inside of Blender right here. It runs a little bit slow when I click the play button, which is why I jumped back over onto uh, which is why I jumped back over onto the other page, but that scene is included with this add-on. So um, you can use this to really kind of see what some of this stuff can do. All right, so kind of a niche product, but if you are doing anything with these kinds of water, this could be a great tool to allow you to add that water really quickly. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this tool. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.